Welcome back. In the chapter of National Health Programs in India, in today's video we will discuss about National Program for Control of Blindness. The National Program for Control of Blindness was launched in the year 1976. So we see it was launched in the year 1976. It is 100% centrally sponsored program. So the program has been sponsored centrally. What is the goal of this program? The program had a goal to reduce the prevalence of blindness from 1.4 to 0.3. Okay, minus 1 you do. So it was reduced from 1.3 to 1.4 to 0.3. Okay, the prevalence, the main goal is to reduce the prevalence of blindness from 1.4 to 0.3. So, as per the recent studies in the year uh, 2015 to 2019, the survey revealed that the prevalence of blindness is reduced to 0.36%. So, the goal was 0.3 by uh, 2015 and 19 survey it showed that it has almost reached the goal that is it is 0.36 percent fine uh, what are the objectives of the program the main objective of the program in the 12th five-year plan period are to reduce the backlog of the avoidable blindness through proper identification, giving the uh, prompt treatment of the curable blindness at the primary, secondary and tertiary levels. So the levels we have already studied, the primary level, PHCs and then secondary levels, this uh, CHCs uh, and uh, we have district uh, hospitals and tertiary levels where we have specialized uh, hospitals, urban hospitals. So we have to pro uh, reduce the backlog of avoidable blindness. If the blindness could be avoidable, we need to reduce the backlog of this avoidable blindness by identifying and treating the cases at primary level, secondary level and tertiary levels. To develop the comprehensive universal eye care, that is service and quality service delivery, we are giving the universal eye care to the people. We are developing a universal eye care uh, and uh, providing this quality service delivery, eye health for all. Strengthening and upgrading of Regional Institute of Ophthalmology to become the center of excellence. We are strengthening and upgrading the regional institutes of ophthalmology so that these areas can become the center of excellence uh, in the subspecialities of ophthalmology and uh, they can also combine with the other partners like medical colleges, district hospitals, NGO eye hospitals, they can collab with them and become the center of excellence. What are our objectives? In the first thing, reduce the backlog. How can we reduce the backlog? By, uh, by treating this avoidable blindness cases by at the primary level, secondary level, tertiary level. We are identifying and treating the curable blindness cases at these levels. Second, we are developing comprehensive universal eye care to all the people eye health for all so we know uh, this um, eye health for all wherein we are preventing the visual impairment through comprehensive universal eye care services quality service delivery we are giving the universal eye care service as well as the quality service Thirdly, strengthening, uh, strengthening as well as upgradation of this regional institute of ophthalmology so that it can become the center of excellence in uh, various subspecialities of ophthalmology. And also we have other partners like medical colleges, district hospitals, vision centers and uh, NGOs, uh, you know, NGOs, i.e. Uh, specialty hospitals. Moving further, strengthening the existing infrastructure facilities and developing the additional human resources for providing high quality comprehensive health care in all the districts of the country. So guys, we know the ophthalmology, uh, this uh, section when you have visited the hospitals in your postings and in your hospitals, you see that it has a separate equipments, it has its own, you know, um, 
like uh, the devices so we have to strengthen as the infrastructure is also the ophthalmologic uh, department when you go you see various things there so we need to strengthen the existing infrastructure facilities also developing human resources we need to build up the skills as well as the you know uh, skills and uh, knowledge information of the uh, human resource that is the physicians there the work uh, the you know the healthcare providers and providing high quality comprehensive eye care when we improve the skills we will provide obviously the high quality eye care in all the districts of the country to enhance the community awareness on eye care and lay stress on the preventive measures we need to create awareness in the community regarding the eye care so you have to spread uh, the information right information educate the people and uh, we are the communication we can bring in the awareness of the eye care in the community and we need to give a greater uh, stress and greater importance on the preventive measures of blindness to increase and expand the research for prevention of blindness and visual impairment along with it we need to expand our uh, sector of research where we are trying to prevent the blindness and visual impairment expand the research as well next to secure the participation of voluntary organizations private pack practitioners in delivering the eye care along with the public sector we should also combine with the non governmental organizations and voluntary organizations and uh, also the private sector and we all have to focus on providing the eye care to the community so these are uh, some of the objectives in addition to this you can also add in uh, this uh, three ongoing uh, signature activities that is very important we have the signature activities okay three ongoing signature activities what are those signature activities there is performance of 66 lakhs of cataract operations per year 66 lakhs cataract operations per year second there is a eye screening school in the school children school eye screening and distribution of 9 lakhs free spectacles per year to the school children with the school uh, screening eye eye screening we are also providing 6 lakhs free spectacles okay free spectacles to the school children and lastly uh, so that uh, we can uh, cure the refractive errors in them lastly we have the collection of 50000 donated eyes per year for keratoplasty so for the operations we don uh, we collect the uh, donated eyes 50000 donated eyes per year okay all of this is done per year to perform the keratoplasty okay so very important guys what are the three signature activities can you list them the three signature activities under the objectives that is 66 lakhs of cataract operation 66 lakh cataract operation then we have you can remember like this 6 and c okay cataract operation 66 lakh then we have 9 lakhs of spectacles 9 lakhs of spectacles and then are provided to the school children free of cost so that we can uh, treat their refractive errors lastly 50000 uh what do we have donated eyes okay 50000 donated eyes we are collected for the uh, performance of keratoplasty then the other objectives let us try to recall them what were the other objectives we studied we need to reduce the backlog of this blindness how can we reduce the backlog by uh, proper, proper identification and treatment of the curable blindness at the primary secondary tertiary levels second what do we do uh, we strengthen the developing and strengthening the eye health for all by providing this universal eye care so we need to strengthen the eye care services by providing this quality service quality uh, service uh, to the you know community and also third 
we need to strengthen the regional institute first thing strengthen the eye care facilities by improving the quality of the service then we need to strengthen the regional institute of ophthalmology so that it becomes the center of excellence of uh, you know center of excellence also we have partners like sub district hospitals district hospitals ngos and all we study fourth we need to strengthen the infrastructure so three points are strengthening strengthening the infrastructure by strengthening the infrastructure facilities and we are also improving the human resources by providing high quality eye care in the districts of the country then next we studied strengthening infrastructure is done then we need to create community awareness okay community awareness and also we lay important stress upon the preventive measures next we have we expand in research expand in research and uh, for the prevention of blindness and visual impairment next we have we need to secure the participations of voluntary organizations ngos and private practitioners in delivering the eye care then guys i hope all the objectives are very clear we can just brush through you can see reduce the backlog of available blindness okay and develop the universal eye care strengthen the regional institute of ophthalmology strengthen the infrastructure facilities bring in the communities awareness increase and expand the research and secure the participations of voluntary organizations now we move on to the strategies or the silent features of the national program for control of blindness wherein the continued emphasis is done on the free cataract surgery through healthcare delivery system as well as by the involvement of ngo sector and private practitioners so very important we are performing a continued emphasis on giving the free cataract surgeries like in we saw we have performed 66 lakhs cataract operations per year so the continued emphasis is made on the free cataract surgery through the health care delivery systems along with the health care delivery systems we are also having the involvement of the private practitioners the ngos like in we saw in the objectives we also need to collab with these uh, ngo sectors and the private practitioners next emphasis is made on the comprehensive eye care programs we are also emphasizing on the comprehensive eye care programs by covering the other diseases rather than the cataract we also emphasize the uh, in treating other diseases like diabetic retinopathy glaucoma corneal transplantation and we also have other diseases like vit uh, vitreo retinal surgery treatment of childhood blindness etc so these emerging diseases are needing a uh, immediate attention so that we can eliminate the avoidable blindness from the country then we have to uh, bring in the reduction in the backlog of blind persons by active screening of the population above 50 years of age once the person crosses the age of 50 then in the community we need to perform the active screening of the population who are aged above 50 years by organizing the screening i camps or uh, you know so that uh, transporting operable cases to the fixed eye care facilities and those cases which are operable we need to send them to the fixed eye care facilities following the screening of the children we also need to screen the children for the identification and treatment of refractive errors and we are providing the free glasses like we saw in the objectives that we have provided there is distribution of about 9 lakhs free spectacles per year to the school children who are suffering from the refractive errors especially those children who are affected in low socio economic belonging to the low socio economic conditions coverage of un, uh, underserved areas for eye care service through ppp so we see that we are giving a major importance to the underserved areas uh, for eye care services through ppp stands for public private partnership through the public private partnership we are providing the eye care facilities or the services to the underserved areas 
following capacity building of the health prof personnel we are improving their knowledge we are improving their skills in the delivery of the high quality eye services strengthening of the regional institute of ophthalmology and medical colleges of state so they can upgrade as a center of excellence in the region so these points are repeated the capacity building of the health personnel we saw in the objectives we are strengthening and upgrading the uh, you know um, the human resources by providing high quality eye care is what we saw so similar point we are improving the capacity building is nothing but improving the skills and uh, you know the um, delivery of the services should be improved their knowledge their skills have to be improved so that they can provide a high quality eye service and strengthening of the regional institute of ophthalmology so that they become the center of excellence in the community and we have information education and communication activities for creating the awareness of eye care within the community like in we studied earlier district hosp hospitals have to be strengthened by upgrading the infrastructure by upgrading those equipments and we need to provide the adequate manpower manpower stands for these ophthalmologists who are performing uh, and uh, we need to improve provide the basic medicines drugs which are required and emphasis is also made on eye care by establishing the vision centers in primary health care centers so we know the primary health care the primary level wherein we are providing a continuous emphasis on providing the eye care we need to establish the vision centers in the phcs next we have multi purpose district mobile ophthalmic units we have this mobile ophthalmic units which can you know uh, move about um, they are mobile they can move out from one one area to the other area and uh, do a better coverage and they are found in the districts okay multi purpose districts mobile ophthalmic units for the better coverage so organizational structure it is going to be quite a long video we will continue from the organizational structure in the second part of the national program for control of blindness i hope it is clear if you have any doubts put it in the comment section and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe